Yo, what is going on guys? This is Jognol. Today I'm bringing you another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three ways to record Minecraft for free or basically very cheap. And yeah, these are the three methods. So yeah, only one of these options are the ones you have to pay for. So I think you know it's really good if you if you obviously can't afford this one, then there are two free methods. Now most of these are you know, like I think all of these, well at least one of these could be available to you. So you know try all these methods if you can and pick which one is best for you. So let's get into the first one. And the first one we have Marillus Action. So the Marillus Action is the only one you have to pay for, and it's around. As you can see, I'm on the site. It only costs around, I think, $30 for a full license. It's $29.95 for the full license. It's it's lifetime access, so that means under any update, you'll be fine, and you'll you know you'll always make sure you always get the full version no matter what. It's not like you have to pay monthly for like you know streaming services like XSplit or something like that. It's completely one payment, and you have it for free, or well, for, for free for forever, I guess. But yeah, you just have to pay this one uh, thirty-dollar payment, and you'll be done. So I do have uh, Marillus Action open, and I do only have the trial because I have not purchased it because I don't currently use it as my recording software. However, I may switch to it soon because it just it just has a lot of awesome features. So I'm gonna first talk about this. So you have the recording modes. So you have the game modes will only record certain uh, applications. So for example, uh, DirectX and OpenGL games. For example, Minecraft is an OpenGL game, so it will only record the screen of Minecraft. So you know your taskbar may not be showing or any of the thing if you like tab out or something. So that's how that's the cool thing about it. But you can also record your desktop or even a little portion of your screen if you really wanted to. Uh, I think that's actually really interesting about it. You can also change the format from MP4, MP4 using NVIDIA NVENC, which is also, which basically makes it to where it uses the graphics card and the graphics uh, power to encode your to encode your your videos. AVI I don't really recommend because AVI is just higher file sizes. You can all, you can record up to 1080p or original, which so if you have above 1080p, you can record above that, which is actually really cool. You can record up to 120 FPS, which I guess if you want to try to slow it down for some reason, you know, if your PC can handle 120 FPS games, you know, then you you got some pretty baller PC there. You can also record for a certain duration. So if you want to record for exactly 20 minutes and cut it off there, you can do that if you want. I don't know why you do it. You can do time shifts. Time shifts basically. So time shifts. I'm actually gonna do this. So what it is is it saves your last gameplay actions instantly with a single hotkey. So this is actually something very new. So basically, say you get an epic kill, but you forget to record it. You hit this button, and boom, it records the last, let's say, one minute or up to, you know, I guess, I guess this goes up as high as, okay, it records up to the last 12 minutes. So not bad at all, not bad. Uh, other softwares actually use this. Now this is definitely probably one of the greatest ones, and one of them I really like about this is allow multi-channel audio recording. Now, a lot of people may not know how significant this is. Basically, when you put it into a, a video editing software like Sony Vegas, usually it has the audio in one track, and basically, it will only put all the audio. However, what will happen is that it will put the microphone in one track and the sound, the actual like system sounds, your your friends, just the game sounds will be in a completely other one. So if your mic is very low but everything else is high, you can boost that up or vice versa. It's really good for the post production thing. Uh, post post production. We also have uh, you could also live stream from this. However, there's probably some better ones out there remote action so people can literally control your, you, well, well not you, well you can actually record from your phone I guess, sound options, you can do audio recordings, you can also do benchmarking for games, screenshots as well, uh, you know these are the settings, you can check for updates, uh, recording settings, the quality can go, like there's a lot of settings in here, you can visualize mouse clicks which I don't really like, you can also add overlays guys, you don't, this is something about it, you can, you can use overlays, I think you can only add one though, so it's not like other Softwares like I'm about to say, you can add webcam. You can, you can I think add up to th I think you can add many webcams. I'm not sure how many. I think you had like two or something. Which I guess if you wanted like a a, a, a mouse cam and a face cam or something like that, uh, you got your microphone, system sounds. You can put your HUD. Uh, that is basically you know you can use your hotkeys. So that is how you record. It's very simple. I do recommend using this if you have the money. I may switch to this soon because I have not used this in about a couple years, but I'm about to say the reason why I switched. 
from this, but it actually has a lot of features that these other ones do have, so that is Marilla's Action. Oh yeah, also by the way, you get a 30 day free trial, so that's pretty cool. So you can try it out, if you don't like it, you don't have to pay for it, which is, I think, is a really good option. Next up we have, well, this is something that comes with your graphics drivers. So if you have an NVIDIA card like I do, and if it'll usually come with the driver GeForce Experience. This is basically the little driver software you get that lets you adjust things with your computer. So I'm going to open it up. This is what GeForce Experience is. I think AMD has like a Gaming Evolved one, which is basically the same thing except AMD. It popped up on my other monitor, but we'll bring it over here. So, you know, games, drivers, blah, blah, blah. Which, you know, these are a little cool. However, Shadow Play is where it comes into effect. However, there are, you know, there are other, I think Gaming Evolve is on AMD, which I, I don't have a game, I don't have an AMD card installed in my system at the moment, so I can't really do that, and I can't, I'm not going to uninstall another card just to show it off, but basically they both have options where they can uh, record, so I'm going to turn it off for and guys, I just realized when you turn it off, I was actually recording with this. Actually, this is what I actually use to record my, my videos. And I turned it off, so it kind of turned off the recording. But basically, there are different modes. So there's basically, there's there's uh, three modes to choose from. There's basically manual recording, sh or there's four methods. There's manual, shadow, manual and shadow, which is this, which I'll explain what shadow is. And then there's Twitch, which I don't really recommend streaming with this because there's very limited options. Shadow time, 20 minutes, but I'll get into that. Quality, it can record up to 4K if you have it. FPS up to 60, and then it can record in-game and microphone. That's basically the options. These are literally the options you have. And then obviously you have some more things in here. You can put your camera, status indicator. You can put microphone to push to talk. You can have your save locations. That's basically the situation with it. It's very simple, however, it works very well. So what is shadow mode? Shadow mode is basically what the action thing is, except they were the first it was actually introduced with the Elgato Game Capture HD, which is a ca external capture card, usually for uh, for consoles. And basically, they put this in there. So one, it uses your, it goes directly off your graphics. So basically, for AMD and Nvidia, it records off your graphics encoder, your the H.264, not the CPU. So basically, meaning that if you have a really good CPU and a or a really good GPU and not a good CPU. Uh, you basically can record with little to no lag at all. So basically whatever FPS you get in Minecraft now or whatever game you want to record, it will record that in general. Now for Minecraft, you have to have allow desktop capture because it doesn't record OpenGL because OpenGL is more AMD sided and you know you have to record with desktop. So I do recommend using something like a window no border uh, solution or yeah, I think using a window no border solution for recording, which I will talk about that in a second, how window no border, actually I'm going to bring that in. So borderless window, basically what it is, is it basically is a program. It uh, basically allows you to run any program in uh, full screen uh, windowed mode. So you guys, you guys know you play your games and there's full screen window where you can click off and it won't tab out. This is what it is. I'll put a I'll put a little download link. Now, when you do open it, it does like have a little update thing, and it pulls up the antivirus, like it's a little threat. It's not a threat, guys. This is not a virus. I'm not trying to scam my fans. I actually have it running right now in the background as well as my antivirus. So obviously, it you know it's fine running. It's just the update tool sometimes gets caught with the antivirus, but you don't really need to update it. It just it's very simple. I do recommend using it with this. It's a very uh, conjoint. Now, Shadow, like I said, it allows you to record in the past, so it allows you to record up to 20 minutes from the past, which is really good because you can have an entire recording and completely miss it, and then time it perfectly, and then record all of it, which I think is really good, in my opinion. So, if you do that correctly, you can it can really save me. That's what, it saved me a lot, so, um, I do recommend using Shadow Play if you can use it, because it's, one, it's completely free, it comes with your drivers. Obviously, with Gaming Evolved, it ha probably, I can't really go into detail with that, but that's basically the second option. It is a free, the first free option, I do recommend it, but it is definitely something, it's pretty cool, and it's, and, you know, it's worth it. Now, now the last option, you guys have guessed it, it's OBS, which it opened over here. So OBS is basically, uh, a, it's called Open Broadcaster Software. So basically OBS is a, I'll, I'll pull up the link now, OB, OBS, oh my god, OBS. So here we go, OBS Open Bro Broadcaster Software. So it is 100% free, which is awesome because it's basically one of the best ways to stream slash record. However, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna preview stream. So previewing stream is not like recording, it's just previewing it. 
So obviously you can put text in there. This is from when I did Mind Blast. Turn that off. Uh, monitor captured. So sorry if it's like a little glitching out, but you can have it record your monitor. You can have it record anything you want. It basically has a bunch of options. However, the only downside about this is that uh, it has too many options. Like with Shadow Play slash Gaming Evolved, it doesn't have a lot of options. This has so many options. It actually is confusing. Encoding. Some people don't know what this is. Some people may not know what this means. You know, some people like broadcast settings. This is probably one of the most like you know the advanced. You people, what does this mean? Now here's the thing. This is good and bad. Good meaning that you can literally adjust any setting you want to make the best possible experience optimization. However, it's going to take you a long time or take you a little bit of time to get that perfect setting. But once you do. It is probably one of the best recording slash streaming. Yes, I do use this to stream. And yes, it is like picking up my little microphone thing down there. And uh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember when I had this as a Black Ops 3 stream. Yeah, that was uh, that was OG right there. But uh, yeah, you can, what is this, SSS? Oh, I think that's, yeah, you can also put in like Twitch alerts. Uh, if you want, so like all that type of stuff. You, I can put in my overlay, where's my overlay? Uh, I think it's CSGO overlay, I, I have to put that at order. You can change the order, you can move to the top, so there you go, Jack no Live right there. So you can put in your own overlays, you can put as many as you want, you can put in different scenes. It's probably one of the most, it's definitely one of the more, uh, you know, gives you most options, and it's 100% free. You know, I think it's going to be free for a while, so, you know, get it while you can. But obviously, it's the only, the, the only like bad thing about it is it just takes a lot of settings. It just takes a lot of time to set up. So that is basically the video, guys. It's how to record Minecraft for free. And, you know, obviously, I'm not going to really show a lot of footage because they're all basically pretty good. Uh, obviously, you have to tink tinker with them a little bit. But action is probably the best of both of them. But like I said, action's downfall is it costs you know, $30. But if you do have the money, I do recommend going with Action. Uh, but obviously, if you know how to do your settings, just go with OBS, you know, whatever works for you, you know, just use it. I don't recommend cracking softwares because it is illegal. I don't recommend, you know, uh, you know, cracking action. I would know, I, however, I knew that people have cracked it before. I have definitely, I have used a cracked version of action before, which I do not feel very proud of, but yeah, you know, just try to be genuine with it. Obviously, if you if you want to try out action and you really like it, you should just buy it so you can help out the developers. But yeah, uh, GeForce Experience, uh, Shadow Play, and Gaming Evolve with AMD and NVIDIA's, they're basically their options that come with their graphics cards, with their drivers. You know, they're good, but they don't really have a lot of options. But you know, you want to always do your own research as well. Don't just take it from me, do it with you as well. So like I said, bordered, no windowed. I'm actually gonna open this up right now, uh, just to show you what this is. I'm actually, so this is what it is. So it's a hotkey, if I hit insert, it basically makes anything turn into a no-no border. So I'm actually gonna open this. So if I hit insert, I can't really do it then because it's like the taskbar's there. But as you can see, it kind of does that. So it, it just, you know, you know what I mean. So if I'm in a game, it will, well, I guess I can load up Minecraft real quick. You open it up, you press the button. There you go. So now you're in full screen. It's basically the same thing as full screen. But the cool thing is I can click away. I'm clicking on my other monitor. But if I do it, but if I do it while I'm in like full screen mode, it will completely glitch out. So and yeah, and you can just completely switch out, minus it and then close it if you want. That's how easy it is, guys. But yeah, that is the video. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. Be sure to check out my other videos if you're interested in Minecraft videos, because obviously this is a Minecraft, I guess, help tutorial. If you guys want me to do any more tutorials, uh, be sure to let me know if you like these, like, tops five, three series. Let me know what you think, uh, if you want me to do more of them. But yeah, that is basically it, guys. If you, uh, other than that, this has been Jocknold. I will see you guys uh, next time.